Welcome to three or more at a time. In this lesson I'm learning to look at addition and subtraction of three or more numbers to calculate easy combinations first. Uh, let's look at this example. Um, this week I've dropped 189 flyers into people's letterboxes. Uh, this morning I drop in another 24 and then this afternoon after school I drop in another 11 flyers into people's letterboxes. I want to work out how many flyers have I delivered so far. Now the first thing I'm going to do is look at these three numbers and think are there any that I could group together which might make this question a little bit easier to answer. Well I can see that if I put these two numbers together, 189 plus 11, that would make 200. So by putting those together that equals 200. So I can cross those numbers out, which means I've just got 24 more left to add. 200 plus 24 equals 224, which means I must have delivered 224 flyers. Let's look at another question. Um, a bookshop sells 65 books on Thursday. They sell another 19 books on Friday, and on Saturday they sell 235 books. I want to work out how many books they've sold in total. So just like last time, I look at these numbers and I think, are there any here that I could join together? And I can see that I could put 65 and 235 together. If I put those two numbers together, I get 300, which means all I have to add is this 19. 300 plus 19 is 319, which means this bookshop must have sold 319 books. Now let's have a look at an example which has got some subtraction in it. Um, I have $176 in my bank account. I've been doing some jobs and I've managed to save up another $24 and then I buy a new cricket bat which costs me $76. I want to work out how much money do I have left. So let's start by looking at these three numbers and see if there's any uh, numbers here which we could put together. Well, I've got 176 here and I need to take away 76. So that's going to be really easy if I put those two together. 176 minus 76 will leave me with 100. And then I just have to add this 24. So that means I must have $124 left. Right, let's imagine I'm trying to make a huge lineup of dominoes. I've already lined up 228 dominoes, and then after a bit of a break, I come back and I line up another 63 dominoes. Unfortunately, while I'm doing that, I knock over 28 dominoes. I want to work out how many dominoes do I have lined up ready to go. So just like in the other questions, let's look at these numbers and see if we can put any of these numbers together. Well, I can see that this 228 and this subtract 28 could go together. 228 minus 28 would leave me with 200. And then all I'd have to do is add this 63. 200 plus 63 is 263. So the answer to this question is 263. Now you might be wondering, looking at these questions up here, let's say the 63, how do I know whether the plus goes with it or the subtraction goes with it? Well, remember when I said my, when I told you my story, I said I had 228 and then I put up 63 more. So you know this is uh, an amount which is getting bigger. And then over here I um, had 28 which I knocked over. So, 
So I must need to take away that 28 because I knocked over those 28 dominoes. Another way to think about it is that this sign here always goes with the number on its right, which is why those go together, those goes together. See the sign and the number on the right? And here you can see I've got a number, and because there's no sign, we just imagine that that's a plus. And we know it's a plus from our story because these are the 228 dominoes which I've already set up. Let's try one more example which is uh, similar to that. Um, 355 people come to the town hall to watch a show and they're all sitting uh, downstairs and then upstairs there's another 48 people all watching the show. Now halfway through the show, 55 people decide that they don't like it and they want to leave. I want to work out how many people are still watching the show. Let's see if we can work out what numbers go together. Well, I've got the 355 people who are sitting downstairs and then these 55 people left. So I could put those two numbers together. 355 minus the 55 who left would leave me with 300. Now I just need to add the amount of people who are sitting upstairs. 300 plus 40 is 340. So the amount of people who are still left at the concert is 340. Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.